Hi everyone, welcome to our July video blog update. For us, July was an action-packed month. We kicked off the month with our July 4th celebrations, commemorating America's 239th anniversary of independence with a baseball-themed event at the Taj Palace Hotel. And we were honored to welcome Paradise Brass, the U.S. Army 25th Infantry Division Band, as the musical feature. The next week, I made my second trip to Chennai, where I got a taste of the city's spirit of innovation, first-class research institutions, history and culture, and of course, its renowned filter coffee. At IIT Madras, I met with students who are inventing and designing the tools that will make our lives easier. At the National Institute for Research in Tuberculosis, I met with scientists and researchers working closely with U.S. health agencies to end tuberculosis outbreaks. And at Kapileshwar Temple, I was moved by the 1,500 years of history and worship at this magnificent site. On July 18th, the U.S. and India reached an important milestone, the 10th anniversary of the Civil Nuclear Initiative. We've come a long way in the last 10 years. During this time, we've tripled two-way trade, tripled the number of Indian visitors to the United States each year, and we increase by 10 times the value of our defense sales. Indian students now account for the second largest group of foreign students in the United States. And we are making big strides in everything from health collaboration, space research, and energy efficiency. Last month, I attended Haryana's launch of Beti Bachao, Beti Pertao, recognizing the importance of girls' health and education. Our officers here at USAID are working closely with the Indian government as a partner in this great initiative. And back here at Roosevelt House, we invited guests from the interfaith community, members of parliament, and even a Bollywood star to celebrate Eid with us. It was a great event, filled with friends, good food, and excellent Kuali music. And just last week, we also had the opportunity to thank and recognize the brave women and men, police, prosecutors, and civil society leaders working across India each day to combat gender-based violence and human trafficking. True heroes in every sense of the word. So that's our July recap, and August is looking to be just as busy. Keep following us on social media, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.